This is one dream where I was in a frat house bedroom with a bunch of dudes. I don't want to know where this goes after this show, yo. But if there's something you want to get off your chest, big fella, you know, we, we are in 2023. People are very accepting, okay? Now, I thought this was supposed to be a nightmare. But it's, not, it's a fantasy. All right, listen, y'all know SSS for us has stood for Spooky Scary Sunday. But, you know, that boy Yo-Yo has popped out and he has given us spooky, scary stories. He gets you when you're asleep. This got to be about Freddy Krueger. Let's get into this. Closer, and with every step, not only does her voice start distorting, but her face starts morphing as well. Nothing. The door closes. He sees me and gives me the most petrifying look he could have given me. A smile. Huh? The original goal of this video was just to be a one-off of me just animating nightmares from my childhood. But like the more I mm. thought about it, I feel like I could low-key make this a series. Like telling multiple little horror stories in a video. I was Do I have a horror story from my childhood? Obviously Bruh, one time I was walking from the park at like, uh, like 2 o'clock in the morning. And I'm walking up this hill. And me and my cousin, we see like a... Uh, a dog's ears, canine ears come over the horizon, and all we hear is <laughs> start running towards us. Chat, we thought it was over. We thought it was over. Fired by Corey Kenshin, Spooky Scary Sunday. But like looking at his videos a little bit over my animations, and I feel like I could get away with that. Yeah, maybe I'll like I'll take stories for myself, write it, you guys, and just like pick three, animate two to three, animate them, make a video, kind of just tell it in my style. What do you guys think of that? Like I, I feel like I would be interested in doing that. And if I fire, did do it, it would fire. be a smidge scarier than this video. This video is supposed to be a comedy because like you know that's just my style. But like let me know what you guys think. I, I feel like that would be fire. All right, enjoy the video. Thank you. Now we've all had bad nightmares before, naked in public, scary clowns, falling from the top of buildings. These are all very common 2016 YouTube prank videos, but they're also all very common nightmares that everyone gets. So the reason that my brain has to do some extra shit is beyond me. I don't get those dreams because when I have a nightmare, my brain is not trying to spook me. I don't really it's have nightmares like that. Chad. To traumatize me. The thing about my nightmares is that they're not necessarily scary. They're just creative. Let me explain. I had this one dream where I was in a frat house bedroom with a bunch of dudes. I don't want to know where this goes after this show, yo. But if there's something you want to get off your chest, big fella, you know, we, we are in 2023. People are very accepting, okay? Now, I thought this was supposed to be a nightmare. Turns out, it's a fantasy. <laughs> Get done. Pause. It must have been a party or something because there was loud music and drinks and stuff. They had a little basketball hoop on one of the doors, so we're playing with that. We're shooting, dunking, all that. This dream must have been after I hurt myself playing basketball in my last video. Oh, that was a W plug. So we're doing our thing, and then out of nowhere, this group of girls in swimsuits come in. They're holding drinks. They start dancing on the guys and stuff. And for some reason, okay. I just want to leave. Fumbling women even in my dreams is cool. Crazy. So I go down the stairs and the stairs are connected to this long hallway and there's a couch in the back So I sit down and I hear someone coming down the stairs and I see this short older Asian lady She walks down mm. turns the corner and looks at me for like 30 seconds and asks Are you Starts good? running towards you? Oh, oh, I'm fine. You okay. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you need some help. Nah, I get you something? Something? she's asking me so many questions I don't even get a chance to answer them. She walks up and continues to do that. Are you cold? Are you, cold? Are you, hungry? Are you hungry? Can, Can I, I get, get you something? something? And her voice starts getting distorted as she walks up closer and closer. Can I make you some food? Are you tired? I want to get the fuck out of here, but my body is frozen. She's like two feet away from me at this point and getting closer. And with every step, not only does her voice start distorting, but her face starts morphing as well. Not in an overtly scary way like fangs and red eyes. It just kind of stretches into this devious smile. She is now, now is inches away from my face, getting closer and closer until I wake up. And I am telling you right now, bro, I woke up sweating bro like that was one of those dreams where you gotta like turn the lights <laughs> on and watch a funny video on youtube before you go bro i told y'all oh that wasn't even a nightmare though but i told y'all the one time i had to watch cartoons when i seen them apes jumping one ape on, on the animal planet boy go back to sleep again bro i'm telling you I, I know huh hello are you sure it was an animal planet and not bet I, I i know that's the joke you were gonna make it's okay all right 
this to say my dreams are not conventionally scary my brain just be creative with it but this next dream is by far the absolute I would have been swinging true it's so bad to the point that I can draw it exactly how it happened because it's so permanently burnt into my head so in this dream I was in an office building and I didn't even know it was a nightmare at the time. I'm just walking around. I couldn't leave though because every door I opened led to another set of cubicles with a seemingly infinite amount of doors. So I'm walking past the cubicles looking for an exit. But the more I walked, the more uneasy I felt mm. because I couldn't shake this feeling of being watched and followed. But everywhere I looked, I was alone. So I make my way down to this door. I open it and I just see this long hallway. I walk in, close the door, and then I see this tall Swole figure, and the way I'm drawing him is exactly what he looked like in That's the crazy. dream. If you were ever unfortunate enough to have seen man look Mrs. like Spider, ugly, Sunny handsome Patch Squidward a kid, that terrifying ass cartoon, just imagine the white spider's head on a swole, muscular body that matched the skin tone. He had no clothes, but no genitals or anything either. I don't know what the fuck my brain oh, was on, but he was just standing there in a corner doing nothing. The door closes, he sees me and gives me the most petrifying look he could have given me. A smile. I'm already knowing what's up, bro. I run to the door at the end of the room and he walks, which is arguably worse than him running, but True. it wouldn't have mattered though, because it seemed that no matter how far from him I got, he just stayed same, the exact the same, same distance. distance behind me. The <laughs> only distance that changed was when he got closer. He never got farther. So I'm running, which is very rare for a nightmare. I get to this one room and it's an empty room with a singular island in it. I go to the other side. He opens the door and walks up to the opposite side of the island as me. He goes to the right. I go left. He goes left, okay. I go right. I am making sure this island stays between us. He even jumped over it a couple times, but every time he jumped over, I would just run to the other side. So we're doing that for a very long time until I get to this one corner. He gets to his and there's suddenly a light, light switch. switch, which I swear on my life wasn't there because I <laughs> ran by that corner several times. He looks at me, looks at the light switch, and I just see his body He's turn around cut it off. and menacingly walk to the light switch, bro. I'm standing there while this seven foot whatever Ever swole on God, you gotta run, you know, drop kick him, all right, right in the back of the skull. You know, I, I don't necessarily, I never play with Luke Kang in Mortal Kombat, but whatever the combo is for the bicycle kick, you need to pull that out right now. Spider anamorphic being smiles <laughs> and walks to the light switch. I look around for the exit, and the door that I walked into earlier is gone. We, we're basically in a box. He puts his hand on the light switch, he flips the switch in the room goes completely white. The counter, the floor, the ceiling, there aren't any shadows in the room anymore. The tone of white perfectly matches the color of this creature's skin. So I see nothing but his black eyes and his devious smile. But then That's his smile crazy. goes away. And I'm just looking at his eyes. But his then eyes closed? He closes those two. I can't see anything, but I can feel his presence getting closer and closer until I choked up and see my roommate and his brother standing over me because apparently <laughs> as I was sleeping, I was like, That's crazy. that tree was so scary. It had me making noise in my sleep, bro. That, that has never happened to me before ever. But that's, that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. 10 days later. 10 days later, bro. We're All right, how many days are we at, chat? We are at four days. Yo, yo, we will see you in six days, big dog. We're consistent, I'm telling you. You don't believe me? I don't believe you, bro. Watch. Paying for your rent. Uh, banana clips on a gun. We gon' peel those. Keep a smithing on me like a nigga named Willow. Fresh prints on a murder weapon. Fucking pill I ain't never had to pay for no scab. Did you steal those? Damn. Hey. That boy Yo-Yo be rapping, bro. We got to get on a track one of these days.